Hey tubers, Bart 49ers Corner coming at you with the weekly video. Doing a little different this week. Uh, first I'm shooting on a new iPhone. Wife hooked it up for Father's Day. Uh, she didn't have any patience so she gave it to me last week. Got a new iPhone 5. Uh, so finally her patience, her lack of patience paid off for the win there. Uh, but also been requested uh, a couple of times to shoot a video of the the lair or the man cave or what have you uh, so I'm gonna do that and then I uh, don't have a ton of cards to show off so that's why I'm kinda taking advantage of that as well because good news is that uh, I bid on a card that I wanted very very badly uh, earlier this week and I won bad news is that it was a ridiculously expensive card um, so I'm not gonna have a ton of cards coming in anytime soon either because I'm uh, currently doing an exercise and how long I can last without buying any more football cards because uh, yeah that card costs that much so first what I have to show you is uh, got a nice little care package from uh, Ricky Russo so I got a little YouTube PC piece there he sent uh, well, sent me a message once and just said uh, hey you won one of my contests shoot me your address and uh, I'll send you some stuff, and uh, I don't really think I want anything to be honest with you. I think he's just being a nice guy, but I appreciate it anywhere. So I sent him my address, and uh, he hooked it up with some uh, some Gypsy Queen minis. Uh, that's just a couple of them. He sent more than that, uh, but some neat ones. Got my, my boy Bryce Harper in there. There's a Puig in there, Bojo, a Ruth. It's pretty cool there. Sent me a. Uh, an auto of a Dodgers pitcher there. Sent me a sweet stack of uh, chrome rookie refractors and some 86 inserts in there. So much appreciated, Ricky. Uh, good people. I uh, love watching his videos because I don't collect a ton of baseball. Uh, honestly, because all the, all the money goes towards the football. So I keep, uh, I know what I know, you know, of modern baseball stuff uh, through watching his videos. But I do have a couple pickups here. Got uh, 60 tops, 49ers. It's a little popping a nine, so I got the eight. Got a 2000 Stadium Club. Rice. A little upgrade here. Had this in an eight, got it in a nine. 83 insert. This is a 79 year old Campbell and Peyton. Just in a nine, but I've uh, been looking for that card for a while, so I'm glad I picked it up finally. Got this for a sweet minimum bit of three bucks plus shipping. Picked up some Elways as well, so I got the 86 and a 9, and then the rest are 10s with a 90, a 93, 98, 93, and another Dwight Clark upgrade, because I had that in the 8. So, that's all I got for you, and that's probably all you're going to see for a while in the pickup arena. But here, here's part of the lair. Got tons of McFarlane figures, that's the, the wife's side over there. Um, tons of McFarlane figures and some neat stuff. Got a neat little Heisman ball down there. Signed about 17 times. Always watching some NFL Network or something like that. If not, I'm playing some Battlefield. Uh, shooting some people up or something. Uh, but that's what I got. Got some starting lineups, lineups from Jack. Shout out to him. So, we'll start with the man cave here. Uh, or the wall, I guess. Uh, it's got some records. The shelves themselves are bootleg as all get out. Since I'm only planning, I'm only going to be here two years, and I've already uh, hit. I'm hitting my one year mark now. Not really putting anything permanent on the walls or anything. So uh, this is some sort of like wall trim or something like that. And I made shelves out of them, and then just put like crappy little brackets up. I think all the materials cost me about thirty bucks. Um, but got a bunch of figures going across the top. Some neat stuff. Got a helmet signed by Montana and Rice. It was kind of the first big item I ever got. Uh, my father gave that to me probably when I turned 15 or 16, so quite a ways back. And uh, now that I know more about autos and things, I'm pretty sure it's fake, but uh, I'm still I still enjoy it. So got some figures there. It's my 67 Insignia set. Been working on that. Got some neat ones in there. There's the Packers one. Shout out to Troy for hooking that one up. Got a couple of them in Raw. And then I uh, still need to pick up the Falcons one as well. Some 49ers team cards. 
And then uh, what's on the wall itself is kind of just some of the neater cards that I have. By no means the more valuable ones. I keep those in a safe pretty much. Um, especially because I live in Tornado Alley and I don't want to find them in the neighbor's yard someday. <laughs> but uh, you should, I like the knickknacks. So there's a Mattel Records. Uh, 62 slot of coins there. There's a Montana and a packaging from an 83 game. Jack hooked it up with that media guide, so I bought the matching uh, rice one and put the two cards that kind of match those pictures there. There's an 81 Wholesome Montana. Uh, it came out of a bread. Got a 64 Wheaties stamp there hiding in the background. Got some neat stuff there, just old stuff. Cons Wieners of Nomalini back up here. This one, love this card. Uh, Self-submitted. I probably had it for 15 or 20 years before I submitted it, so I only got a a three, which is pretty lousy, but uh, I love the card anyway, so I put it up there. Nice little Montana thing I just kind of put together. Some uh, neat 49ers I like to keep track of. Big fan of that that Bradshaw there. Where are we at? I'm trying to figure out where my finger is there. Uh, that was a self-submitted 82 card. Got a 10 on it. There's a Ronnie Lott where he's wearing 24 instead of 42. Love the 86s, so I've got a couple of those. There's the Niners, uh, Mount Rushmore, as it were. And there's what counts as Bill Walsh's rookie card. Got a couple others. It's my favorite autos. There's the sixth one that goes with this. Steve Young, never seen it. Got Rice McDonald's rookies. Got all, of them, all colors and nines. Two of the greens, but uh, the black is only 8.5 in BGS, and I'm still looking for that. Some more randoms. Um, and again, I'm doing a shout out to Chicago fan Paul for requesting this one a bunch of times, and finally getting around to it. But uh, King B Discs there, that's basically came from Beef Jerky. Got a Parker Brothers game card there. This one's action packed, and it's a coaster like you would put your soda on or something like that it's not too collector worthy if you put your soda on there but get it cased and it looks pretty cool got a pop one scorecard there and there's a 74 wonder bread that's pretty cool got my modern cards some of them some autos and whatnot big fan of that gore contenders there got two super fractors Got the complete rainbows with some printing plates of those guys too for those cards. This section over here is kind of my uh, care package hookups area. Got some stuff from Mark Kirkendall, Ron Warner, James Cunningham. Not sure whatever happened to him. He kind of fell off the fell off the YouTube and everything. And then a whole bunch of stuff from Jake Gilvin. A bunch of autos. These Willis's and uh, Crabtree. Uh, and Vernon Davis. I sent him some PSA stuff and he hooks it up with some awesome autos that I don't have. Here's our kind of little sorting spot I got. That stuff kind of goes towards the care packages, selling stuff in that box. Uh, got a sweet brick. It's a mock of uh, what will be out at the fan walk at Levi Stadium that opens up this year. So I hope I get out there. Probably not this year, um, but maybe next year and go visit that and here's the sorting spot just got some neat stuff up there got some figures and here's the entrance into the archives as I call it beware use of deadly forces authorized so don't go in here without permission but got some starting lineups on the wall got this neat uh, Montana beer sign got some of the YouTube PC up there and then uh, I try to keep this stuff organized, either by, you know, year for the 49ers stuff or by player. So you'll see a lot of them that say Rice or Montana. And those are full. I kid you not. I've got all kinds of them there. There's some of the player ones. Got a bunch of jerseys. There's more back there. Here's some player ones. And then uh, years for the 49ers. Some bigger players that I collect, Dion, Walter over in the corner. Got lots of empty boxes for shipping stuff. Some shelves. I got a whole bunch of stuff down here. All kind. Of, that's all the. Had some of that stuff for geez forever. 
Um, got like lots of packing materials and whatnot. And then love me some starting lineups, but half of these I'll probably bust out if they were during that guy's playing years eventually so I can grade the cards that go in them. But that's what I got for you. A little introspect into what uh, I got going on and where I hang out spend most of my time. So thanks for watching and uh, the next one that I do make will be super short but we'll have a pretty ridiculous card to show off. So until then, later guys.